What is going on? Yeah, man. It's like, oh, look at them. Look at them red clouds, man. I mean, ooh, there's something flying right there. Big bird. That could be another eagle. Could be an owl, too. Because you'll see owls move right before dark. It's like they go, they move, and they get posted up, and they sit still. Like at about sunset. And I'd imagine they go freaking on the freaking attack. Once the, the visual shut down, you know? Ooh. See? It's also, I heard the morels, man, are out. So look. Oh, that, this right here is one, I think that is an elm right there. I am freaking, like, really familiar with their bark. I'm not sure for sure for sure, but look, I think it is, but could be wrong. So right off Jump Street, off Rip Street, uh, Elm is what you, oh yeah, there, there, there's a bunch, I see the bark starting to fall off, so that's good signs, but no guarantees. Uh, so far, I have not found any morels in Flint, so I'm kind of stranded out here. Them buster ass police from freaking Richfield County that pulled me over during essential travel out in fucking Richfield County when I was on my way home from work. Uh, screwed me. Now I can't drive anymore. There, the Secretary of State wasn't open. There was no way to get anything legal. And life happens, man. I didn't have time to put my shit on hold for fucking court and all that, you know? So, I mean, I just really feel, uh, I got discriminated on, especially that I'm seeing all these people fucking driving around with no license plates, man. You know what I mean? All this freaking time, dude. I just feel that was, that was a buster ass move, sir. Whatever the frick your name is. You know what, buddy? God bless you, man. Hope your mother's really freaking proud that you really screwed somebody's life pretty good, bro. I mean, hey, nah, you didn't destroy me. You didn't defeat me. You just made my life like hell, though. And Groundhog's Day, even worse. When it was already hell and Groundhog's Day, buddy, you only, oh, you only made it that much more painful, sir. Hope you're really proud that you're freaking saddest, dude. Oh, this brown bottle. I'm going to have to take it. I hope you're really proud, bro, that of your sadomasochistic job description, dude. You're just, oh, just doing my job. So was I, dude. How come you get to do your job, but it wasn't okay for me to do my job? You know what I'm saying? I work for a living. Thank God I still got some decent, ugh, some decent people, man, looking out for me, man, a little bit here and there. I don't like asking people for stuff i don't like owing everybody in the world favors man Ooh, look at this is that a tick or is that a spider yuck i might not be able to drink this coffee i need to show you this how fucking gross uh, let's see if we can let's see if we can pluck them out of here oh. here you go you little ugly bastard Huh. Yeah, see, that's how a grown ass handles business right there. Get it done. Um, oh yeah, this is going to be a nice little bottle for my collection. So, you know, look, dude, you know, if I don't find no morels at the moment, uh, it's not the end of the world. The season's not over. It's actually, we're early, but it seems to me, from my observations, that when the season starts early, so the high likelihood it'll end early. Nothing worse than finding a huge patch that's already all freaking deteriorated. That they're really not the best consumable, you know. But I mean, it's still better than nothing, man. You gotta take, gotta take what you can get. Um, so look, hey, yeah, yeah, I was kind of bitter and resentful at. These mofos, dude. All year. And I feel I'm justified. I got a good reason to be. I just don't care. You know, a lot of people be like, oh, it's your own fault. 
Man, dude, have a fucking heart, why don't you, okay? You know what I'm saying? I hate people and they're fucking enabling, man. All the bull crap, dude. That's oh yeah. Wait, what's this? It ain't one. Damn. Tricked me. But it is the as a consolation prize. Often I do find uh, other mushroom species just out and about. See, you know, I'm just a freaking regular dude, man. I like to do regular dude stuff, man. I like to hunt mushrooms and to hike. And uh, I'm really freaking mature, man. So I feel like they gave, give me, they've been giving me a hard time the whole freaking run. But I'm not going to go take it out on anybody else. Just because they screwed me and burned me. It's alright. That's between me and them. What's this? Hacksaw, my hacksaw handle. Hmm, man, I'm gonna. My bag's gonna be heavy by the time I get home, buddy. I can already tell. It's one of them days. Hmm, I'm liking the way it's looking down here. Uh, I mean, plus picking up all this stuff really does have a tendency to make your bag your bag and your top it's really freaking dirty I don't like it but hey that's the price you gotta pay you wanna hey, hey. you wanna pay or you wanna play I guess you gotta pay you know? and I'm cool with all that but man I don't need no unnecessary freaking expenses buddy like I actually work for a living I, uh, I got my freaking stimulus stolen huh <laughs> Got my freaking account freaking hacked. Uh, there's nobody to call to rectify it, man. I'm just freaking, you're screwed, buddy. You're aft. I mean, I'm not taking a freaking microchip to get my freaking channel back, dude. Feel me? You dig? Comprende? Belinda? Void freaking abnicio that shit, y'all. They never, they're not giving you formal disclosure that it's a biometrics ID. And I can already see, maybe that's why they intentionally left back doors open in the system for sh stuff to be hacked. So at some point they could institute something like that. Biometrics ID, a mark of the beast, an MOB. Mob. The mob. The jab is the mob, it would seem to me. And that's a, that's, that's a heavy conspiracy right there. I heard, look, DMX's family said he took the jab, dude, a few days before he died. And I've heard of other people, same thing happening. Especially in that age group. The 50 year olds, you know, they really want to cull the population. They believe we're overpopulated and all the minorities need to die and all the, uh, poor, uh, white, Poor white trash types. Shit like that, man. They, look, dude, we're all... We're all welcome to the club, everyone. I mean, you know, I... Look, I'm being sarcastic, all right? I, I really did, did not... Happy for that. This isn't... The stuff I... The, the abuse and the... The abuse I've freaking endured by society my whole life, dude. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But hey, recently I've had disclosure for many people that they had similar freaking issues, man. Like they talk the you think it's a like the like if you're white, man, that you're just excluded, but they're not. I know a few of them do that are getting even run through worse, dude. They may charge them more in child support, and they treat them worse. So, I mean, I don't know. We all got it bad in a different way, dude. But, hey, we all got it bad, man. We got that in common. Now, welcome to the club, man. I mean, I know that sounds kind of mean and cold a little bit, but sometimes to snap people out of their freaking stupor, man, you got to say something that really triggers an emotional response. 
And once they get over the emotional response and they're, see, look at this. This is all elm right here. So if I do find my morels, I'm going to walk through here and sprinkle spore. Try to seed it for in the future. You know, I do that. I'm a true avid outdoorsman and woodsman now. And a mushroom hunter and a rock hound and uh a bush crafter. Uh like I'm really turning into a real Indian, man. It's great. Without any really actual formal training other than being raised by a full blooded Indian woman. And then hey, I just had a research on my own. And I do have family members that have taught me shit along the way. And I run into other Indians out here and we do have a kind of a uh, affinity with one another for, in, mo in most cases man now even though back in the day different tribes man we were literally like bloods and crips but when shizzle hits the fan man well we start to put our freaking differences aside man start freaking and opening up and listening i like that if we would only done that a long time ago and hey I say all people do the same thing. Put our freaking differences aside, man. And start to see each other as human beings and not like this manufactured caste system, class system, race system. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, it's a sham. If you're subscribed to these race gangs, man, you're freaking, you're effing up. That was programming from the prison culture. I mean, in prison, I understand you gotta do what you gotta do, but look. Uh, because, hey, man, like I was telling you, man, those are people that raided my white homie, man, freaking, they were white cops, guarantee it, those judges that were freaking pimping his life, and that sheriff that targeted him, white people, and also, you know, and speaking of the Bloods and Crips, in that minority community, and it's a it's a way to trick people into smoking each other. It's the Willie Lynch. So I'm just reiterating some facts, some fact, some true facts, man. So don't take it the wrong freaking way. Don't take it personal. Don't be all butt hurt and and uh, all like freaking sensitized and triggered, sir. But because it's like this, man, you can't. Frick the kid gloves, man. We're never going to get anything solved, dude, if we keep beating around the freaking bush. And uh, not and afraid to confront the, the, the fact, the factual data. Okay? So, sometimes, man, in order to find... Look, before we can even find a solution, can we find a way to state the problem and articulate it in its entirety with, with precision? You know? I mean... It, I mean, it sounds, it sounds freaking so easy, man, just to say it, man, and really, it's, it kind of is just that easy. Get off me. And, uh, you know, hey, chipping away at this thing one brick at a time, buddy. We're going to bring this freaking, we're going we're gonna to topple this freaking pyramid. This pyramid of domination and control that they've, uh, Erected off of our backs, dude, and our previous generations' labors, dude. So that's what time it is, man. It's a good time to man the frick up, dude. And hey, you better speak now while you still can. Oh, what's that? Got some mushrooms on that tree. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's kind of getting kind of wet. Back here. We're also running out of freaking light, man. Uh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's swampy right here. But, yeah. Anyway, man. I'm running out of time on this vid, too. So, I got to cut this one out. But, anyway, man. Look. This is just some real talk, man. Grown up talk. Uh. Much love, man. God bless. Take care. Safe travels, man. Until next time. Peace.